Now you have to be afraid of a potential- Well, it doesn't even think about the payback. No boost. And the opponent at this point figures, you know what? Gave it three tries. No boost. I'm out of here. I have no idea how he's going to be able to pull out this victory. Down a shield, behind on energy. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ox here with another video. If you're new to the channel, we do upload Pokemon Go content mostly related to PvP. So please consider subscribing to the channel if that is of interest to you. And if you're a returning subscriber like Parth the Great, thank you for the support. In today's video, I'm fortunate enough to be able to shoutcast a set of battles which brought one of our subscribers to 3400 ELO in the Master League Classic. 3394 to be exact, but close enough. That player is Tanguyuan Sweet, a very talented battler who has been able to reach the leaderboard in all seasons of GBL. So the team that they are using for this video consists of a Melmetal lead which we have seen before is very strong, Snorlax operating as the safe switch, and then best buddy Giratina Origin in the back. Now I'm really happy to be able to share these battles with all of you because they involve some very high level thinking, high IQ plays that everyone is able to learn from no matter what your skill level, so I'm looking very forward to sharing these battles with all of you. Now the majority of battles selected for this Shoutcast actually include either a mirror match in the lead or a very negative lead that Tang Yuan Sweet has to play out of. So we're going to take a deep dive into the thought process of this player, try and see what they were thinking in the situation, and just see how these matches unfold because there is a lot to unpack here, a lot to learn from, and I'm very excited to take a look at these battles. If you guys enjoy this type of content, please make sure you smash that like button, it really helps the channel grow. Leave a comment in the comment section down below, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and without any further ado, let's jump into the first battle right now. Alright, so let's jump into the first battle here, going to Sfeiya 7, Tang Yuan Sweet leading the Melmetal, and we are going to get met by a Melmetal mirror match here. So, very tricky spot to be in, very difficult to play out, it comes down to CMP. You can see that Tang Yuan Sweet does have a 15 IV attack stat. The opponent looks like they probably have a Hundo Melmetal here, so gonna come down to a coin flip in most situations. Going for the superpower first here, opponent does shield that up. And now the opponent here is going to throw their own superpower, so he's gonna shield this up. But the opponent actually baits with Rock Slide, so that's a pretty big blow. And look at this, catches the superpower onto the Giratina Origin, that is a huge break. Gets to store all of that energy in the back four later in the game, and the opponent brings out Dialga. So here, you just wanna go straight for the Shadow Ball. Opponent unlikely to shield this since the Melmetal is going to come back in after anyway, so they let it go through and they might commit to a straight farm down here with Dragon Breath, have a move ready for that Melmetal which is going to come back in, but instead you could also bring in Snorlax here. The reason you might want to bring in Snorlax actually is because you could potentially lick down all the way on this Dialga, especially if they go for something like Draco Meteor, the Dragon Breaths will be doing less after. This particular opponent actually has Thunder, so that's a bit unfortunate, and they are going to get to another move, but look at this, not shielding this move here, it's going to be an Iron Head, will survive, and swaps out into the Melmetal to finish off this farming, so pretty interesting play. Now, of course, the opponent is going to have the Melmetal in the back, so they come back in with that. Tang Yuan Sweet is capped at 100 energy, it looks like here, going to throw the superpower, and the opponent is going to burn another shield here, and now throw their own move. Gonna get met by a shield of their own here, and again, another rock slide bait. So the opponent has yet to be debuffed. This superpower is gonna be doing less damage because of the debuff, and the opponent hasn't dropped their own defense here. So very rough spot here, gonna throw back to back, and then I anticipate they're going to switch out here into the Snorlax, yes they are. Opponent switches out though into Dragonite, so this looks like the two old butters team here with Melmetal Dialga Dragonite. Gonna catch this Body Slam, one Dragon Breath knocks out the Snorlax here. So Melmetal comes in, did reset the debuff which is really good, and at this point have to build up for at least two moves here. Rock Slide isn't going to KO so there will be some Thunder Shocks still added. Opponent does just go for the Dragon Claw here. This Rock Slide is unlikely to KO, so let's see how much farm is left here. Possible the Dragonite will get to one more Dragon Claw here. However, Melmetal will survive this. This is going to come down to CMP if the opponent has a move ready already. So we're about to find out here. Superpower is going to win CMP here. This is going to be enough to take this game. Wins that battle there. Very difficult match in the mirror, of course. Could go either way. Very tricky spot to play out. We saw how he did it there. So jumping into the next matchup here against Yowzers 3, all of these battles take place in the 3300 range to the 3400 range, so 
no easy matches here. Giratina Origin, obviously not an easy match. And notice he switches out immediately into Snorlax instead of trying to catch the move onto the Snorlax. So they didn't wait for the opponent's build up to Shadow Ball and then try catch it on the Snorlax, just swapped out immediately. So key thing to note here, Opponent comes in with a Conkholder, which is obviously a solid counter for Snorlax. So I'm gonna shield up this Dynamic Punch and actually look to go for two Body Slams here. Now, if you could actually lead this matchup with a Shield Advantage, that's a pretty huge break for Snorlax. And if the opponent tries to farm down like it looks like they are doing here, Snorlax is going to get to that second Body Slam, which is going to command the Shield from the Conkholder. So, they lose lead, they don't have switch advantage, however, they do have a shield advantage. And I'm gonna come in here with Giratina Origin. Now notice the opponent looks like they threw right away. So this actually ends up being a dynamic punch. I think the opponent there should have took an extra second, especially since the Melmetal didn't have any energy. There was really no threat of getting farmed down there. So they could have waited to see what came in and threw the Stone Edge, assuming they had that move. But taking the dynamic punch is a huge break there. Opponent brings in their own Giratina Origin here. And now with the shield advantage, this is a very positive spot to be in. So we're gonna shield up the Omnis win. Opponent doesn't get the boost and they swap out into Mewtwo. Oh. Oh my gosh, about to get one shot basically. Boom, there it is. Mewtwo takes the heat from the Shadow Ball opponent backs up. Did not want any more smoke after that right there. Let's jump into the next one. Q New 35 here. Tang Yuan Sweet leading the Melmetal into Metagross. This is a pretty difficult matchup. So would expect them to probably build up to the superpower and then swap out immediately since you are going to get to the first move before the Metagross. So let's see if that's what he does here. He does go for the superpower, goes on shield. You can see Metagross takes that very well, swaps out into Snorlax, get met by a Palkia here. So Palkia actually is a pretty nice answer for Snorlax because Snorlax really can't win this unless it gets a huge energy lead, which it didn't in this scenario. So the Palkia going to throw the Aqua Tail here, I imagine this will not KO and the Snorlax should be able to get to one more Body Slam. Thing is, these Body Slams aren't really threatening the Palkia much. So the Palkia can pretty much unshield this and then just go for the straight farm down with Dragon. But actually, it looks like they're gonna have to throw an Aqua Tail here, yeah, because wouldn't be able to Dragon Breath down there. And the Snorlax is going to go down after this Aqua Tail. So again, don't have Switch. Come in with Melmetal here, and at this point, I would expect them to completely farm down this Palkia, get a bunch of energy stored, and the Metagross will come back in, at which point I imagine probably throw another superpower and then swap out into Giratina Origin. So let's see how this plays out. Metagross does have a move, so we're gonna shield this up. Earthquake will hurt. Even Meteor Mash is going to hurt, to be honest, because it is such an OP move. Gonna go for the superpower here. Will this Metagross shield? We saw it doesn't do too much, so they let that go through. Swap out into Giratina Origin, get met by a Lugia. This is really nice. You are down a shield though, so it isn't the best situation, but going straight for the Shadow Ball here in case the opponent thinks they're baiting. Nope, shield that up. And this Lugia, probably building up for an Aeroblast here. Will they bait with the Sky Attack though? And you can see the Giratina Origin chooses to no shield here. Aeroblast basically takes it out and gets to the Shadow Ball still. This is just the situation of knowing the matches knowing that once you master team, what you can and cannot survive, Tanguyuan Sweet knew that they would survive the Arrow Blast there, could save the shield and still get off the Shadow Wall, which is a huge call and an important factor in being able to win games like this. So the Lugia gonna go for a move here. Probably gonna be a Sky Attack, but does decide to shield this. So now that they are down to zero shields, they have to over farm a little bit to ensure that they will outpace that Metagross to the superpower in order to take this battle. So throws the Rock Slide after over farming a little bit. Here comes the Metagross, is able to get to this superpower, which is going to be enough to take out the Metagross. And Tanguan Sweet is going to win this game. So another impressive win against a very difficult lead there. Metagross into Mel Metal. Let's jump into the next one here against Larut. So let's see what we're going to see in the lead this time. We got Mel Metal into Dialga. So okay, we got a positive lead this time. So let's see how the positive lead goes here. Came back from some pretty bad leads so far, but this is a nice change. Giratina Altered comes in. This is actually an interesting safe swap because Snorlax, you might think is a good matchup here. Snorlax with Body Slam Superpower actually can't win. So I think part of the reason why he decided to throw the, the Rock Slide there first was to ensure that this matchup became a bit more manageable for Snorlax 
and manages to catch the Shadow Sneak onto Snorlax too, so this is really good. Snorlax at this point should be able to actually win the matchup against Giratina Alter in the Zero Shields because of that Rock Slide damage and catching the Shadow Sneak. But you can see here, Body Slam really does nothing to Giratina Altered. Super Power, of course, you're never gonna wanna throw that against the Giratina Altered. And these Dragon Claws are chunking away. So you can see the Snorlax is actually lower in health at this point than the Giratina. Gonna take another move here. Notice the Snorlax has not thrown a single charge move yet. So you may be, you're probably wondering what the heck is happening. And look at this, swaps out. Literally brought in the Snorlax to store 100 energy, get into red health, and swap out. That is a play that I never would have even considered doing myself, but we're going to see how that plays out here. So the Giratina is still staying in, and if you guys have ever seen aggressive farm down before, Thunder shocking down a Giratina altered with a Melmetal is up there for one of the most aggressive farms. Get there. This Melmetal is at 100 energy, Snorlax is at 100 energy, what is going on here? Kyogre comes in, going to throw the Rock Slide here, need to start applying some shield pressure to this team. Kyogre not shielding, of course Giratina Origin in the back is a very good answer, but the opponent likely has a Dialga, right? So once the Giratina comes in, I imagine we'll probably see Dialga, so let's see how this is going to play out. Can't really come in with Snorlax here, it's too low in health, have to save those moves for the Dialga. Kyogre building up a lot of energy here, so you have to be aware of a potential Blizzard. Going to shield this up just in case, don't want to get knocked out, especially since that the Snorlax in the back has no health, so you need to use these shields for the Giratina at this point. Kyogre gonna throw another move here. This time it should only be a Surf. Did bait the first time and commit to the farm down. Now they are down a shield. Down to last Pokemon is the Dialga, so going straight for the Shadow Ball here. Likely going to get two, which would be very nice. And then 100 energy on Snorlax should be enough to win this game. So let's see if the Dialga chooses to shield this one here or let it go through. Choose to let that one go through there. Snorlax is going to come in, go for the superpower. This is going to get the last shield. And then the next superpower should be enough to knock out the Dialga right here. And let's see how it goes. Yep, they, oh, doesn't KO. They farm down Dragon Breath, but the shield is still there. Giratine Origin comes in. One Shadow Claw enough to take that game, and Tang Yuan Sweet wins another matchup there. DD Suke here in the next match. So let's see what we got this time. We got Melmetal into another mirror match. So another Melmetal mirror match, and in this particular situation, it does look like Tang Yuan Sweet does have the better IVs here. So perhaps the opponent doesn't have a 15 attack Melmetal, which would mean that the Melmetal for Tang Yuan Sweet is going to win CMP tie. So you can see they go for the superpower here. It didn't look like a CMP tie there from the opponent. So they swap onto Giratina. Did they catch the superpower onto Giratina Origin? They did. That is the biggest blow ever for an opposing Melmetal. See a Togekiss come in. Giratina Origin gonna go for the Shadow Ball here. Will Togekiss shield this up? Togekiss lets it go through. Look at this. Giratina somewhat staying on pace in terms of health. Gonna beat it to the Omnis win. Is Giratina Origin going to beat Togekiss in the Zero Shields? Boom! Yes, it does. That is pretty damn impressive. Maintain switch advantage with Giratina Origin onto the Mel onto the Togekiss because of that energy lead it got. Opponent's Giratina Origin comes in. You love to see this when you're rocking the Snorlax, especially the Snorlax with two shields. Even if the opponent has Dragon Pulse here, you got two shields. This is an amazing situation to be in. Opponent's going for Omnis Win, so you know right away they're not running Dragon Pulse here, unless they're running Omnis Win Dragon Pulse, which is an option but probably not the most common move set. And the opponent's just fishing for the boost here. That's two tries. Probably gonna go for a third try here. Snorlax not throwing any energy. The opponent going to go for one more Omnis Wind attempt. No boost. And the opponent at this point figures, you know what? Gave it three tries, no boost, I'm out of here. Grabs their bags, dip sets, and we're off to the next match. Tang Yuan Sweet into Emery Swan. Emery's a very talented trainer. Have battled him quite a few times, very strong. Giratina Origin into Melmetal, very difficult. Swaps out immediately again into Snorlax and get met by another Machamp. So last time we saw this scenario, saw the opponent come in with the Conkeldurr, and this time we see another fighter come in in Machamp. So seems to be a theme here with these Giratina Origin leads to have a fighter in the back. And this is a really rough matchup. Last time we saw the Snorlax actually get some shields from the Machamp. Not gonna happen this time. Going to allow the Snorlax to go down. Come in with Giratina here. Now you have to be afraid of a potential. Oh, it doesn't even think about the payback. Gonna take the chance here. It's on Rock Slide. Oh my gosh. 
the balls on this player and farms down with Shadow Claw. Now a thing to, to consider there, in this ELO range a lot of times you are going to be facing the same people because there are only so little people within that range, right? So possible he already knew the moveset and as a result knew that the opponent did not have payback making that decision easier, but still not taking anything away from them. Very ballsy call right there and we see a Giratina mirror match here. So this is pretty much bait dependent for the most part, but the best buddy Giratina does have an advantage of course. So the opponent here going to throw another move, gonna shield this up because at this point, because they have successfully baited already and got the shields down, Tangyuan Sweep will be able to outpace it to the next move. This Shadow Ball is going to be enough to take out the opposing Giratina. See Melmetal come back in here. And I think what he's trying to do here is actually bank that Omniswin. Now the reason for that is because this opposing Melmetal has to throw superpowers, right? So in order to beat the Melmetal on Tangyuan Sweep side, the opponent has to debuff itself. And at that point, when the Giratina comes back in, Ominous Wind should be enough to knock it out just because of how badly debuffed the opposing Melmetal is, right? So you can see here, actually threw two times before throwing our own superpower here. So this is gonna do a lot of damage and we have back to back stored. So Tanya and Sweet is going to be able to take this game. Had the, sh had the Ominous Wind stored in the back just in case. Very impressive win right there against a very highly ranked trainer. So let's jump into the next matchup. We got El Mago, El Mago Pajas, and we're going to be leading Mel Metal into Mewtwo. So very interesting match again. This is a pretty bait dependent matchup. The reason for this is because if the opponent is running Focus Blast, very difficult matchup for Mel Metal, especially if they successfully bait with Side Strike. As we see right here, they do bait with the Side Strike. The thing is though, if they are not running Focus Blast, if they're running Shadow Ball. Melmetal will win this in the two shields even if the opponent is baiting. So let's hope that there's no focus blast. It's gonna shield this up though. So definitely anticipating a focus blast, your opponent is building up the energy for it. Another side strike bait. At this point, you're really sweating as the Melmetal because if the opponent has focus blast, you know you're gonna go down here and you're gonna be down a shield as well. So the Mewtwo survives this rock slide. No reason to shield it if they have focus blast because they will outpace you to it. And look at this. Moves coming in. Is it going to be a Focus Blast? Is it going to be a Shadow Ball? It's only a Shadow Ball, which means Metal Metal is going to be able to farm down here. And because of that, they are down a shield. However, they have some energy. Gonna store that energy swap out into Snorlax here, get met by a Zekrom. Now the thing about Zekrom is that it will win this matchup. However, if Snorlax is running a move like say Outrage or Earthquake, then the Zekrom has to be a little bit afraid here, right? And look, Snorlax is building up to a lot of energy, so definitely could be an Earthquake here, could be an Outrage. Does the Zekrom want to take the chance? No, they shield that up. And now going to get off a Superpower here. Superpower pretty much only going to really tickle the Zekrom, but you know, it still adds up. Any chip damage is nice, and it goes down. So at this point, let's see if they're coming from Melmetal or the Giratina. I probably anticipate the Melmetal to come in here. It does going to throw a move. I anticipate the Melmetal to come in because it has energy stored already, right? So we're going to apply a pressure to the Zekrom and then switch out into Giratina to farm down, which they successfully do. That Alga comes in very tough spot here. So you need to get some chip damage here with the Shadow Ball. Now the thing is, if that Melmetal has a move stored in the back, this Dialga really needs to have some energy here. So they're trying to get to two moves or at least close to it because they know they can't Dragon Breath down before they get to an Omniswin. So if they threw the Iron Head there and the Melmetal had a move ready, Dialga would lose. So they felt that was their only play. Yurkoski here in the next matchup. So another very strong trainer. We're going to see another Melmetal Mirror match. So let's see how this one plays out. Of course, as we've seen, very bait dependent catching superpowers onto Giratinas. A lot of things that happen in this particular matchup. Opponent going to throw first here, and Tangyuan Sweet is going to shield up the first move. Does correctly call the superpower. And you can see they're going for back to back. Tangyuan Sweet did not click the charge move, so this is not CNP. This means the opponent actually could switch out here, try catching the move, and they do catch it on the Giratina Origin after sneaking an extra Thunder Shock as well. So very impressive play by the opponent. However, you feel a lot better about falling for that when you have this kind of answer to a Giratina Origin, right? So very nice play here. Shadow Ball gonna come through. Opponent played that almost as well as you could possibly play it, but unfortunately for them, they get met by the wall that is Snorlax here. So kind of unfortunate on the opponent's side, very fortunate for Tangyuan Sweet. 
and at this point the opponent isn't showing that they have Dragon Pulse, so clearly this is a very dominant situation to be in as the Snorlax here. And it looks like they're just going to commit to the farm down, but the opponent switches back out into the Mel Metal. So going to throw the Superpower here, which is going to do a lot of damage, so it does get the shield. And now swap out into Giratina Origin, which has a very, very good matchup against the Mel Metal here. So you can see the game has sort of flipped now, and it's in a very good spot for Tainuan Sweet. So we're going to get hit by a couple of Rock Slides here, but doesn't seem to really mind it too much. Another Rock Slide coming through, about 50% health now. And will they go for the Shadow Wall? Going straight for the Nuke here, trying to get rid of this small Metal immediately. And let's see what the opponent is going to have in the back. Actually going to get hit by one more Rock Slide here, yep. But this just gives them more farm, so they will be able to have a move ready here for the final Pokemon. If they decide to come in with the final Pokemon, they're going to come in with the Groudon here, so going to go for the Shadow Ball. Will the opponent shield this? This is a pretty big, pretty big call, sorry about that. Yes, they do shield it up. Giratina comes in, amazing instant swap back into the Snorlax in order to catch this move, get more farm, and this is going to allow the Groudon actually, or not the Groudon, the Snorlax to have some moves ready for that Groudon. Gonna throw a couple of body slams here. This match still is far from over, however, it's looking pretty rough right now. There is a shield still for Tanguan Sweet, has all three Pokemon. This Groudon is going to need a lot of moves right here. And the opponent actually decides to just back out instead of playing that through, realizing that the game was in fact very likely to be over. Ran Maru 0212 here in the next matchup. We got Mel Metal into Rhyperior. So the mud slap in Rhyperior, very difficult matchup for the Mel Metal. You can see they're staying in here, going to throw a superpower, and then I imagine swap out into Snorlax. And Snorlax, of course. Not the greatest answer either for Rhyperior. Let's see if this Rhyperior is running Superpower, if it's running Surf. Definitely going to be running Rock Record. Where are they going to hit it with right here? It is a Superpower that does a lot of damage to the Snorlax. These Mud Slaps are also really adding up. Opponent's staying in actually in this matchup with the Rhyperior. So this Superpower is going to knock it out. And okay, so let's see what they come in. Come in with Lugia here. Lugia, very good matchup against the Snorlax, especially a debuffed Snorlax. So just going to spam some Body Slaps here. And I imagine this Lugia will probably commit to a straight farm down from this point. Yep, they do. And now, what is going to come in? Will it be Giratina? Will it be the Mel Metal? Mel Metal kind of makes sense because it could tank the moves, and we see the opponent swap onto Giratina Origin. So, the opponent does have an energy lead here. Going to call the Ominous Wind bait. Very ballsy call right here. They do successfully call that. Opponent doesn't get the boost. And going to go for their own bait now. The opponent is within Shadow Ball range here, so this is a pressure situation. They do shield up, and both of them have successfully baited. At this point, you know it's going to be an Ominous Win, right? So it is another Ominous Win. Have to shield it up though, because you are so low in health. Going to go for their own Ominous Win here. The opponent actually should outpace them at this point, I think, because they were ahead on energy. Oh my goodness! Gets the boost. So definitely want to shield this up at this point now. Commit to the farm. Now opponent comes in with Lugia. Just going for the Ominous win here. If they get another boost, this Lugia is going to have a big problem trying to farm down. And you can see they're actually staying in here. And I think part of the reason why they stay in is because look at how much Shadow Claw damage is actually taken out of that Lugia right there from having that boost, right? So even though you are going to allow this Lugia to get farm, Aeroblast on Melmetal isn't doing too much. And those extra Shadow Claws really did add up here. So Sky Attack will not KO Melmetal. The Rock Slide is going to KO, but you need to build up for at least two, I believe, here to knock out that Giratina in the back. So that's what they do here. Build up for two Rock Slides. This first one is going to knock out the Lugia. The second one is going to take out the Giratina Origin. Melmetal actually does win CMP tie as well against Giratina, even if it had a move ready. So they take this game. Very strategic play there. Did benefit a bit from the boost but a very well played game. Next battle, DD Suke. This is the last matchup of the video. And let's see what we're going to see here. It is another Mel Metal Mirror match. So let's see how this one plays out. Now, I believe in the previous match, the opponent had Togekiss and Giratina Origin in the background. So that may play a factor into how this plays. Knowing that Snorlax, the opponent doesn't want to see that line onto their Giratina, right? So they could pretty much safely bring in Snorlax after this Mel Metal match, knowing that the opponent has to come in with the Togekiss and align the Giratinas for the mirror match. So the opponent actually choosing not to shield here, going to throw the Superpower, so not baiting this time. 
and the Mel Metal going to go for another superpower here. Will the opponent shield this up at this point? They let it go through, so they give up the lead, bring in the Tokus, and here comes the Snorlax. So keeping the Snorlax away from the Giratina Origin, because I guess you can't really go Giratina Origin into Tokus, especially when it has energy lead and a shield advantage. So kind of forced coming here with the Snorlax and hoping that you could somehow pull out this victory after in the Giratina Mirror. Thing is, the opponent isn't shielding here, so they're probably gonna have a shield advantage. Gonna throw the move here. If this is a flamethrower, it's gonna knock out the Snorlax. It is indeed a flamethrower. Snorlax actually barely survives, which allows the opponent's Giratina to come in and get an energy lead while taking this resisted super uh, body slam. Very strategic play there from the opponent's end. I have no idea how he's going to be able to pull out this victory. Down a shield, behind on energy. Does shield the Shadow Ball, which helps, but because that was the last shield, it's a very straightforward play for the opponents. Just go for the Shadow Ball there because they will get to a second one. Gets the shield here with the Omnis win, which is pretty huge. And now gets to another Omnis win. The opponent at this point will realize it's an Omnis win, but they're so low in health that they're probably going to shield this anyways. They do. Get to the Shadow Ball right here. Shadow Ball is going to knock out the Giratina Origin. This match is still far from over. Has a Mel Metal ready here. Has a Snorlax. That Giratina is dry in energy. Let's see what happens. Going to build up for the Rock Slide here. Will they be able to get to the second Rock Slide before this Giratina gets to another move? Will the Giratina try to catch on Tokus? They do not. Rock Slide is going to come through. This is going to knock out the Giratina Origin. Can the Snorlax Mel Metal combo farm down this Tokus before Charm? I have no idea how he pulled out this victory being down two shields against Giratina Origin, but he did. And he is going to jump up to 3394 ELO after this absolutely insane great battles right there. So those were some absolutely really incredible battles right there. An anti-Dialga team, as you see, very intense battles, high level thinking. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.